My name is Matt Foley, and at Hortonworks, I lead the test and release engineering team that is responsible for actually building and distributing uh, the Hortonworks data platform, which is our main product. Hortonworks data platform is the complete set of the most important components of the Hadoop ecosystem. So it consists of Hadoop Core, which is the HDFS file system and MapReduce, uh, but equally important is HBase, the big table-like system based on Hadoop. There's also Hive and Pig, and then finally there's HCatalog, which is a new metadata system that allows a Hive, Pig, and HCat to share schemas and thereby interwork together more easily. Hortonworks is very committed to the open source model, and we believe it's important that everything we ship is also available from the Apache repositories. The advantage of downloading the Hortonworks data platform as a unified whole is that we certify that those versions of those components are up to date and interwork together properly. So Hortonworks has an extensive test suite of system and functional tests which test every important feature of Hadoop and HBase in an end-to-end -end environment of a real job. This is important for customers to be confident that the system will actually work in the field. In addition, we do work with our partners to do further testing in their data centers to ensure that the system is also stable under scale of several thousand nodes and under real-world workload conditions. The current open source code uh, doesn't have a lot of tools for either monitoring or management or deployment of the Hadoop ecosystem. Hortonworks is a major contributor to the Ambari project. This is a new Apache sub-project in the Hadoop ecosystem whose purpose is to provide management and monitoring tools. So every quarter this year, you're going to see a significant contribution from Hortonworks through the Ambari project to make uh, the Hadoop ecosystem easier to manage and monitor and connect to people's existing monitoring and management systems in uh, large data centers.